Hi, I'm Nicole Belanda from Rockwell Automation, and we're here to talk about results achieved. I'm joined today by Prabhoth from Athena to talk about some results that they saw with one of their customers. Hi. Hello, Nicole. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for joining me. Can you tell me a little bit about the company and your role? Yeah, so I'm the founder and CEO of Athena, and Athena specializes in helping customers achieve results by managing and deploying the digital investments they've had. So taking them through a business transformation journey, providing the best fit technology that might get the job done for them, and enabling from IoT to customer experience an integrated solution for our customer. So tell me a little bit about this customer that we're going to talk about, what their business is like, what challenges they were facing. Yeah, so they're a logistics uh, operator uh, in, in a fleet, and they have uh, several barges that are deployed across uh, various parts of the U.S. The lack of visibility of performance of their equipment was really the, the main pain point by which we and Rockwell were involved in identifying. But the lack of information that they had from a visibility perspective, the inability for them to get uh, geofencing or alerts or alarms on the equipment that they had, as well as information about engine and weather and a couple other components of data sets that could have been useful for their business um, is what was lacking for them. One of the key elements was their equipment needed to have the ability to both connect as well as share that information in a centralized location. With this particular customer, Having their fleet dispersed all across uh, the river area was especially challenging because not always there's a network. We were able to identify, one, the ability to capture the data at the edge or within the, the, the fleet. Then to be able to come up with a communications method to bring that data back, but we really helped them bridge that gap to bring the data back to a centralized location. And then the ability to play that data back to a couple of different personas, whether it was the operators, whether it was the, the customer service teams, whether it was the support teams or the engineering teams, to identify where the fleet was, what kind of performance the fleet was working against, what was the goal, and what kind of alarms and alerts were they feeling, uh, or the operations was feeling in the, in the field. So to be able to identify all of that using industrial IoT, using uh, integrated data capture methods, and using ThingWorks as a platform is what we suggested to them. That's great, and we love our partnership with PTC. It gives us the opportunity to provide ThingWorks for that last stage you talked about, the data visualization. You are a member of our partner network, correct? Yes, we are. Yeah. So and we've been working with both PTC and Rockwell over the years, and have had the privilege of working with direct sellers, with their distributors, and a lot of the product teams in the regions. So when it came to data capture at the edge, how did you help them accomplish that? We deployed a kind of an OPC type layer to enable the integration from the edge devices, brought some sanctity to that data that was collecting information about the engines, whether it was the front, the middle, the back, as well as then integrating this data set of the machines along with some other data sets like weather, like the depth at a given point in the river. That helped them identify areas of kind of big data, if you will, along with machine data. And I think solving that problem enabled the opportunity for them to be more visibly in tune with where the location was, the geofencing, the kinds of uh, issues they might be getting in the operations of their barges. So the, the capture was kind of not so much of an issue per se, but the aggregation of that data capture was something we solved with uh, bringing everything together on the PTC platform. What type of KPIs did the company have in mind? Yeah, so they wanted to look at uh, several areas within the performance of each of the engines, which is on the fleet, and a couple of them, as I mentioned, the, the front, middle, back, as well as what kind of opportunity can they have for uh, the direction and weather and, and the, the flow of water or uh, and inlets and identify when and which dock should they be possibly coming into if there is issue. And to prevent that from happening, there are certain steps we can take now, albeit the alarm's not gone off in this area yet. So I think the opportunity to be predictive, 
the opportunity to be more intimate with the customer. And of course, doing all of this by bringing data in a unison and that data being machine data, some third party and big data, and some customer or ERP type data together. This is exactly why I geek out about data management, because yeah. this is the type of thing that without bringing all this together and seeing correlations between the data, I bet there was so much downtime, right? I think this was one of the biggest uh, concerns that they had, the reduction of downtime. And with this uh, implementation, the opportunity now lies to possibly do maybe upwards of 25 to 30% reduction in downtime. Yet another uh, important outcome, or ROI, if you will, is the efficiency in their routing. Here, the opportunity lies to help them become more uh, responsive with their customer and both obviously increase the response time for queries or uh, intimation back to the customer by maybe upwards of 20% or so. So thank you so much for coming and sharing your story with us. You are doing some really incredible work in the marine industry and with this particular customer. You're really leading the way. We're grateful to have you as a partner. Well, it's a thank you uh, to Rockwell and we appreciate the opportunity to share this information with you and our ecosystem.